So Tom, we're up in the wilds in Yorkshire. This should be a weekend off for you. Last week you were doing a job on the French, next week you should be doing something similar. Um, so what is it that brings you up here when you should be relaxing? Um, good friend of Chris Blackburns, who's obviously got his, uh, his charity day up here today um, for his young boy. And um, you know, they've put on a real good day for all the lads. There's a few of us up here uh, shooting at various gongs around the place. Um, you know, I've got my little archery range set up. I seem to be on my own up here at the moment, um, enjoying a bit of peace and quiet, um, just shooting a few arrows and having a good day out. And, and is the reason you're on your own is because you've become such a bow ball that no one can, can bear to be up here talking to you? Largely, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much summed it up. Yeah, I, I come up here and uh, yeah, just repeatedly shoot arrows until I can't hold the bow any longer, basically. And then uh, when my arm gets tired, I'll go down there and shoot some rifles. And you, you started off with the rifle side of things and that's how you got to know Chris. Um, but you actually used the bow shooting as part of your rehabilitation from injury, like to kind of, you know, to take you away from rugby and... Yeah, uh, that's basically how I justify it. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I've tried to convince them to get one in the physio room. Um, I had shoulder trouble in the past and um, I've actually found that shooting the bow over a period of time has helped set my shoulder in a stronger position and develop the smaller muscles around the shoulder that help with rugby tackling and the, you know, the bangs you take on a weekly basis. Um, so I've benefited in that in that way, but um, you know I had a, I had a long-standing injury in my foot, which um, you know was quite debilitating. I couldn't do all the things I usually do, running around, playing rugby, and you know surfing and any other activities I like to do. So um, you know I took up archery, which is a bit more static, and uh, and it just you know, went from there. Really. And and do you find you're keen on your your country sports and and being out with the rifle and stuff. Do you, do you find that it's a nice escape from the, the pressures of, of your professional sport, but also you know, the, the attention of the media? Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, I mean, I'm an outdoorsy person anyway. I like being out, out and about doing sort of the, the field sports and country pursuits and things. So, um, you know, I'm really comfortable in that environment. And yeah, it's just a real break from the, uh, from the pressures of professional rugby and, and the media and everything else. So um, apart from today, obviously. Well, you know, we always like to intrude wherever possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and also, I mean, I, I alluded to the fact that, you know, bow, bow ball is, is probably a, a little bit harsh, but you're actually really into tuning your bow and trying to maximise the performance. A bit like someone would modify a car, you're into modifying your bow and arrow. Yeah, I guess um, between myself and Chris, he's kind of applied what he does in the gun trade and the precision he likes to get into his, his rifle building. Um, into the into the bow game really and it, this is just a hobby this is just something we've done in our spare time but we've got a little bit carried away at times we've got more gear than we you know more arrow spines and various bits and pieces that we uh, you know care to remember um, just for experimenting and playing around and uh, you know getting a bit lost in it to be honest so uh, but it's been good for me having had a long-standing injury to just get my mind into something else and to forget about the fact that I was you know gonna have a long layoff from rugby Obviously, uh, you're back now, and you're doing a great job for in an England shirt. Um, obviously, target shooting with a bow and arrow in, in the UK is all we're allowed to, but you are allowed to, to hunt abroad with, with a bow, and there are some South American tours and, and potentially parts parts of the world you might be visiting with the England team. Is, is that something that might interest you if you, if you travelled to, to those parts of the world where it was legal to, to have a look, closer look at bow it's hunting? It's definitely something I'd look into. Um, it's quite difficult to manage with rugby. Um, obviously your, your time's quite precious and uh, you know, you've got a lot of commitments to fulfil there but if I had the opportunity it's definitely something I'd look into, yeah, and uh, something I'll perhaps pursue later in life, especially after rugby. Um, I'll have to see how it goes really. I'm, uh, I've got a bit of practice to do before I'm up to that spec maybe. And hopefully you got you got a few more rugby tours in you before you think about retiring. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Um, you know, I got some catching up to do after having a quiet season last year. So, um, you know, I've I've made a good start. Um, the key staying fit, I suppose, and um, you know, giving myself the best chance of getting selected for for the various teams.